So you want to be a UX designer, but don't know where to start. In this video, I'll be giving you six simple practical steps to get you started on your journey today. Hi guys, my name is Chili and I'm a senior UX UI product designer based in London. I'm super excited to finally be creating YouTube videos. I'll be sharing all the things I've learned along the way to help you become a great designer. My content will be centered around user experience design, user interface design, and user research. Whether you're already a designer looking for golden nuggets to improve your workflow and your skills, or you're just getting started, or just for those who just dabble in a bit of design, there'll be something for everyone on this channel. Make sure you stay till the end for a giveaway. This video in particular is for those who are just getting started. It can be very overwhelming with so much information on the internet. I'll be giving you six practical steps. Make sure you write them down and use them as a roadmap to your learning journey. If you have any questions about anything or you'd like me to elaborate on something, make sure you put your questions in the comments below and I'll get back to you. So let's start with the basics. What is UX and what is UI? These are two roles that are often confused as they sound very similar and sometimes people use them interchangeably, but there are key differences. UX stands for user experience design. This is the more analytical stage of the project. It's about designing the experience of the journey. The goal is to identify any problems within the user journey and smoothen them out. A UX designer will decide what features are included, how you move from page to page and the easiest way to navigate in order to achieve their goal. They'll start by finding a problem and doing some research on it, understanding the customers, and then they go through a variety of processes to come up with different ideas to solve the problem and improve the user experience. They then produce wireframes to give an overview of the page layout and intended behaviors. And then we get to the UI stage of the project. UI stands for user interface design. This is the aesthetics of the interface you see, the designs on screen. This is about the choice of color, how the layout looks, the use of typography and any animation. There are overlaps to these skills. To be a good UX designer, you have to already envision what the UI is going to look like when you are designing the wireframe. And to be a good UI designer, you have to understand how your choice of layout and typography and colors is going to impact the user as they're using the interface. When I first started in UX, UX and UI were separate skills. However, now companies expect you to do both. There is still a possibility to specialize if you're in some bigger companies as they have separate teams and there's enough people in the team where your skills can complement each other. So who is UX designed for? Anyone that is a problem solver and a little bit creative. If you don't think you're creative, do not let that put you off. Design can be learned. This is more about your problem solving skills. There are many people that I know that have come from non-design backgrounds that are great designers. And now for the tips. Number one, I would say start designing. It can seem intimidating, but you learn by doing. Design is a craft just like carpentry. You don't learn by watching videos, you learn by getting your hands dirty. You will need an understanding of the design fundamentals like color, typography, layout, type, and the use of image. I'll be creating a video of this and I'll link it in the description below. The best place to start learning is to just copy. Find designs that you like the look of and recreate them. You can find inspiration on sites such as Dribbble, Pinterest and Behance and many more out there. There's also a website called Daily UI which gives you little daily challenges to get you practicing and gaining knowledge. Make sure you get used to sharing your designs and getting feedback. If you post any designs on Twitter and Instagram, you can tag me and I'll give you some feedback. Your first designs are not going to be the best. Good designers do not get attached to their work. You're ready to make any edits or even throw it away and start again at any time. Do not get attached to your work. Tip number two, master a design tool. I have to caveat by saying you don't have to learn all the tools, there's many different tools out there. Just make sure you master one and focus on improving your design skills. It doesn't really matter which one you learn. I'm very biased and I think Figma is the best one but there's many different ones. There's Adobe XD, Sketch, and a new one called Penpot. So just find one and master it. I've created a beginner's guide to Figma video, which I'll link in the description below, where you can learn how to use Figma and design along with me. Tip number three is learning UX principles. This is a journey of a project from problem to completion, where you identify a problem, do some research, gather data to further understand the problem. Then you generate ideas, create wireframes and prototypes, which you will then test with the users, and then move on to creating final designs and development. This can be self-learned as there's tons of information on the internet or through a course. There's many different courses and boot camps out there. Google even have a course to get you started. 
The key to getting a job is not about which course you take. It's about demonstrating your understanding of these UX processes with a strong portfolio. Number four, read blogs. A lot of big companies such as Uber, Deliveroo and Intercom share their design processes. You can read through to understand how they went from problem to the final designs that you see live on screens today. Tip number five, read books. There are a lot of books to help you understand the design processes. My favorite for beginners is Don't Make Me Think. This is a great starting point for anyone who wants to get into design. If you do one thing today, make sure you get this book. I might actually do a book review on it where I highlight the key points, but I do recommend you read it for yourself. As per the name, it's about making the user journey so smooth that the user doesn't have to think about it or get confused when navigating. It's a short read and I love how it's written in simple terms, but using key UX words that are not confusing for beginners. This one is a classic read for everyone, not just beginners, the design of everyday things. It's quite a long read and it's hard to get through. However, it is worth taking the time to read it. It really opens your mind to start thinking like a designer and solving problems. You'll start to see the world around you very differently. You'll consider how people interact with objects around them, which will help you think about how they interact with the screen. I'll be including more book recommendations in my future videos. Tip number six, watch YouTube videos. Take advantage of the free content on here. And there's also content on day in the life of a designer. And there's content that shows how designers work on live projects. So you can see what it's really like to be a UX designer. Make sure you're taking notes when watching videos so that you can check that you're covering all the topics that you need to. It's very easy to watch video after video with no clear direction. So make sure that you're taking it all in and you understand it enough to put it into action. All the things that I've mentioned in this video, if you search the terms on YouTube or on Google, you will find tons of content around it. I'll also be making videos on the different UX methods along with how to build a great portfolio. So make sure you're subscribed so you're notified when I upload. Make sure you do not overwhelm yourself with all this information. This is a marathon, not a sprint. So take your time. So that's it. Everything that I've mentioned in this video, I'll be linking in the description below. And I have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a one hour mentoring session each week for the next few weeks. All you have to do is make sure you're signed up to my mailing list and engage in my content on some of my platforms. So comment, subscribe, share on any of my social platforms. So if you're starting out and need some tailored advice or you need some help refining your portfolio or you're already a designer and need some career advice, this could be for you. I'll be picking one person each week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.